your deepest, deepest desires, your deepest wants in line to Him. And that's true prayer. And what we have in our heart, we have to give it to God. I think this is what we want, this is what I want, and this is what I, what I want you to do to me. And I want to do for my life. Praise the Lord. In praise to God, there are ways and keys to effective prayer. What are prayer to be effective? I draw a coach, coach, it's a work by my job done. Coach, it's a work by my job done. So, my, these are the keys. That is, I want to go to the see you in the room. See you in The first one is pray brightly. Pray brightly. Big bad, you are not on the road. You are not on the road. You are not on the road. Pray brightly. In just what I see to the TV, we will say that pray brightly for something that will glorify the Lord. It's an excellent way to pray. James chapter 4, verses 2 to 3. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Book of James, James 4, verses 2 and verse 3. He says, For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, nor be mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have been believed to enter into rest, as he said, As I have sworn in my rod, as I have sworn in my rod, who then shall enter into my rest, although the work are finished, Confirmation of the world. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Where I think is if, if, if for the Lord to glorify God in highest. Just what he says, we have and receive not because we have a means. That when you ask God, you should have with your full heart. Ask me God for something, you are praise God. Comment in your heart. That means that you can pray for and God will answer you. So when you now when you have a means, I don't know why God will answer that prayer. We should pray rightly. We want to focus our prayer to one side. Lord, this year, I want God to buy me a, a, a luxurious car. This year, Lord, put the ask for me. Pray rightly. What you need at that time, at that moment that you need. God also is God. You know what, what you need at that time. You know what you need as a son. So, when you pray rightly to God, God will answer you rightly. Praise the Lord. The key to pray rightly is to pray for your lost things that are on God's heart. Like, ask God to give you the opportunity to share the gospel with your neighbor or with people that will work together at office. That's what God, that's what is promised God's mind. Want to pray rightly? Ask God that Lord, give me the, the spirit, give me the, 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 the vote by boldness. And the courage, people to preach to people, to, people, to, to pray and to uh, guide them in the way of the Lord. As we are going to do this afternoon now, after the service, we want to go and preach to people in our surroundings to give their ways to them, to give their life to Christ and to know whom they serve. Praise the Lord. By prayer writing, we can pray directly from the scriptures. We visit our favorite book of Psalms to pray, or proverb, and reading it out loudly. I don't know how they pray. This is like Psalm 1, you can pray with this Psalm 3, 24. That's the uh, Bible that we have. What time is it? Psalm 91. When you use that Bible verses to pray, you know, God will answer our prayer. Pray rightly at the right time. Praise the Lord. The second one is pray with confidence. We should pray with confidence. If I grab a real boy, you know, you can pray your back. When you are not confident in it's, it's God, it's God. You don't know what to say. Because you are not a child. Oh, he shall not learn. So, when you are, you are of God, you are truly is our son. You know that stand. we go to God with confidence and pray. And when we pray with confidence, God is there to answer us. Praise the Lord. 1 John 5, verse 14 to 15 says, This is confidence that we have towards him. If we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. That is, we are his son, and he is our God, he is our Father. Whatever we ask him, surely he will answer us. And if you know that, he has us in whatever we have, know that we have the request that we have as him. So all our requests, we are confident we 
we ask God and God will answer us in Jesus' name. In the Bible, in the book, in the book, in the Bible, not that extra. Extra want to, to want, when you want, want to pray, want to want the 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 not to take him to the extra. Uh, you are in the house of a king. I know how to deliver your people. The Jew people now they want to pray that they are going to perish. Go to the king and pray that God should deliver the people. And extra pray confidently. In our other pray, after fast for three days, now went to the king. Confident because he has, he has prayed the prayer. So when you have prayed, then you know that you have confidence that what I've prayed for, what I've asked God for, God will try to do it for me. So that is because in that in any prayer you are happy, you are happy now, make sure that you have confidence to face God. God have confidence in you. I trust you. You must answer me. This thing that I'm asking for for God, you will answer me and all my petitions. And as you do so, your prayer will be answered in Jesus' name. Also, then you have to also pray with confidence. He prayed, he said he should not pray, but he prayed. And he opened the shutter, he opened the window, I was praying perfectly, and they came, and even now, to the session, God elevated him. And the confidence that I prayed, God will answer you. I don't want to go back. We're being a lot of 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 We're not going to We're not going to say that. If you don't have confidence, you cannot ask anything. You cannot beg anything from God. But with confidence, you can ask anything and God will give you in Jesus' name. Every time I pray, I'm confident that God will do this to me. And all my prayers, according to His good will, God will answer them. So this morning, my brothers and sisters in the Lord are confident to be in the Lord Christ. And when we ask God anything with confidence, we surely give it to us. So therefore, pray with confidence. The third one says, pray continuously. Pray continuously. God wants us to be consistent in prayer. In verse 17, five seventeen, he says, pray without ceasing. That is, we pray without ceasing. That it should not stop. So continue to pray and pray until you receive your miracle. I like this ask the child that asks his father, maybe you have you been looking for good things, they ask your father, ah, my father, I want uh, I want to buy a uh, textbook at school. So today you ask him, he didn't give you. Tomorrow you ask him again, he didn't give you. Persistence asking, continuous, but just, just trouble him or her. That this thing I want it, I want to use it, I, I need this in my school. When you don't let it rest, you don't let it rest, we surely give it to you. So that's how God is. Once you want to ask anything from God, we must continuously ask him God. Ask him. He says, ask if your child is full. Praise the Lord. God has his normal mode of answering people his answers. When you want to praise to God, there are ways that God answer. You can say yes, he must go, or no, he go. Or, I thought, what can you say? You can even say, wait, my son, it's not yet time for you. The car, the car that you are looking for, the car that you are asking for, it's not yet time for you to buy a car. But if you buy the car, maybe you can, be, you can have an accident. But on our own thoughts, what do you mean I need a car now? I want to have, 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 have a car. But God knows what you want at that right time. You, want, you know what he give you at the right time you are asking this. So let's continue, so let's ask God. No matter how we answer, we can trust that his wisdom far exceeds our own, that he alone knows what is best for us at all times. That's the Jeremiah 29 verse 11. God knows what he wants at the right time. And as we do so, God will answer us in Jesus' name. The first one says, God answers in his time. No matter we can see it. God answers in his time. And in his time, God will answer you. My dear friend, God, why are you delaying my prayer? My prayer will be done the answer. God, God has his own, his own uh, uh, reasons for not answering you your prayer. For not answering your request, the time you ask of him. God has shown us that if we answer our prayer, his perfect timing. Psalm 69, verse 13. Psalm 69, verse 13 says, But as for me, my prayer, it is, is it to you, O Lord? At an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of your Love, answer me in your saving faithfulness. 
That is this, what Father says. That this is God's sign. God faithfulness. God will answer us. Why you wait for a perfect timing? For patience. That is, I manage to rule. One of the people called Don. I'm going to run to the other one. Say, one of the people called Don. Don't know the other one. 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 Why you don't wait for God's timing? Then rush and see. So that that thing now will not last. Be still. Psalm 7 says, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Pray not yourself because of Him who prospered in His way. Because the one who carries out evil devices, at least we should be still. We can take it. Because God also is there for you. We surely do ask. Those of us, just for us to outside and wait gently to stay for his son. Praise the Lord. Also, we want to look at Genesis 21. That is that was the story of Sarah. Abraham, Abraham, Abraham is father of faith. Sarah was old, old in age, but she didn't have any child. They didn't have any child of their own. But when the angel of God came to them, the sister that came to them, they said that in the next year, then they have a child. Sarah was, she was, she was, she was, she was not even now expecting that child at that time. But when you now get to 21, verse 1 and 2, said, Sarah gave her at, at the same of God, that the Lord will fight for Sarah, he will be a mojo. So what can we waste for God's time in our life? Wait for God's time. Don't rush to get money. Don't you know, just look at your young boys now. They're not any tricks now. I was in the way, um, this, this week, and some people sometimes they walk their path. Far path, they walk in their in their foot up. Where to be uh ATM point, they wear their foot back across their body. Then they go they go to the uh ATM point, then they will not kill at the back of those that want to collect money. So what all, all the money that you are, you are collecting to be going inside their post. Share the furniture. I will have to share the anything. But they are trying to learn way. There is no way. They are done, they have their own cross. What you go to, what you just want to go to, what you want to go to, what you Then another way, you can go to my world, that's what I'm going to go here, what I'm going to see. You don't go to your life, what you want to go to, what you want to see, 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 what you want to that was the case them. That is visual. That is how they they are they are they, they have to they should do to have money, quick money, and those money not last. Can you move red? Is it bad? Oh yeah. Oh my God. That was a son. Go down there, and that's what people are doing now to get money, rich money. But when they get the money now, there's a repercussion. Repercussion man who have You get the money, you quick time, then you know how to be. The end is disastrous. May God give us the right time for us to, to see what we ask of God in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's pray for God's sign in our life. The last one is God answers for his glory. God answers for his glory. Lord reminds us of his glory. God let's call to the glory, no matter our prayers or how they are answered by him. Isaiah 24, verse 15 says, Therefore, in his ease, give glory to the Lord. It is the first land of the sea. Give glory to the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. Here you are commanded to give him glory. God does not share the spotlight with others. Uh, God does not share even his glory with anybody, with any idol, with any man. No matter what you put, or put on the floor that, that you want, want to worship, my God is a jealousy God. So don't want to, want to share his glory with anybody. You see in the book of uh, Second Kings now, you know, for the election, when, when there was a problem, uh, then he, 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 he fought with the boy, the, the point of bar. They now he want to put square, go to test. He said, okay, he wants to know your God. If your God is alive, then he said, the point of bar, they go to, this man, they put their own bar on the floor. He said, okay, Elijah, you should now test your God. If your God will answer my fire, and he prays to God. And God answers. And that place, they claim glory to God because they pour water on the on, on, on the fire and on, on the wood. That is, that if you put water there, anybody that if the, the, the when, when, when that comes up, that means the the, the, the 
the Lord is not sleeping. Do that. Oh, yeah, God is not sleep. In the fire, God has passed through the fire. And God does not show his glory to the people of them. Then he died. Of the prophet of Baal, what is the weapon then? All the other prophets, they came. And Paul, worshippers, they are ashamed then. So, Lord, the man said, I'm not it. So, let's give our life to God. Let's leave everything to God. That you are praying if you were slave for Lord, and his glory, God will not show his glory in our life. Whatever you are asking from God, whatever you, whatever you are praying for, for none, and God has not answered you. God can't just wait. And okay, we will go for Lord, we will go for the Lord, we will go for the Lord, we will go for the Lord, we will So give everything to God, and the glory will show in the name of Jesus. Look at myself, I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Now my praise will come idols. He is God. That is, he cannot dispute it. And he don't want to share himself with anybody. And he don't want to give his praise to idol. He wants to receive the glory. So also now, when you praise the God, make sure that let God have the glory in your life. Don't take all the glory that we have here to another Ayavale's house or to another pastor. You stay here and receive the, 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 the grace of God in your life. When God do something for you, Wait patiently and see the signs of God. And when, when the glory comes, what will we see? Everybody will see that they will, they will praise the Lord with you in Jesus' name. You are praying for His glory. As I said, we are praying for the Lord. said, that God created us to, to give glory to His name. That's why we are created. Because of His God, to, to be able to give and render glory to God. That's why we are created. And also, everything we do for His glory, First Corinthians 10 31, that all what we have done, we have been doing is through God's glory. How do we give glory to God that is deserves? How do we give God glory? All good that God deserves, how do we give Him? And you can come in that all you have to ask for Him, through Jesus Christ, God will answer us. Surely, when we come out, we, we, we speak our minds to God. Speak your minds to God, you see that God will answer you. Put your mind in God, praise in God. Don't join idol to God by worshiping God. Hold down fast to God and see that God will answer your prayer. And as you do so, come to the last house of God and give God the glory. And perfect timing, God will do it. The glory of God will show in your life. When you make everything to, to, to have timing, God is a God of perfect timing in your life. And this morning, I want to acknowledge everyone of us sitting down here that the ways to make our prayer to be effective is through the ways that are said. Pray rightly, pray with confidence, pray continuously. That is, you should not be, you, you should not rest. Continue pray, persistent in pray, and God answers in His time. Don't rush. Wait for God. God has His own time that will answer you, and God answers for His glory. He wants to. We want you to give glory to him so he will answer at the proper time. And as we do so, the Lord will be with us and all our prayers will be answered in Jesus' name. Can we rise to our feet? Rise to our feet this morning. Let's pray to God. Let's pray. Let's tell God this morning have heard your word. That is how to be effective in my prayer. What are the keys to be effective in my prayer? That is God. Make me an effective prayer champion, as you know. Lord, make me an effective prayer champion in your house. Turn to prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I come to you, Lord, the first turn of God with this morning, Lord. I pray, Lord, make me an effective prayer champion in your household, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord this morning. Lord, make me an effective prayer champion in your house. Give me the strength. Give me the zeal to pray and to receive what I ask from God. Praise God this morning and show that it be in Jesus' name. Yeah. Second one say, Holy Spirit, lead me to have praise in the place of prayer. Every time I seek your face. Holy Spirit, bring me to have praise in the place of prayer. Every time I seek your face. Turn to prayer. Honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray this morning, Lord. Lead me to have praise in the place of prayer. Every time I seek your face, your face in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, King the Holy Spirit, to pray accurate prayer. Lord, 